How many times have we gone throughout the day and we've had to re-remember all these little things that we have to do? Oh, I have to go. I, yeah, I have to get more dog food. I have to go out from later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to pay that bill uh, when I get home. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. You know what? Um, remind me. I got to get some dog food later. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another episode of the Upgrade My Rituals podcast. My name is Kevin McKella. I am your host, and this is the show for people who are looking for a little bit more productivity and efficiency and a design, ultimately, a creation of this perfect day that they can try to execute as best they can. Um, you know, this could be anybody from any walks of life. Uh, you know, a lot of people that I, I get to help are solopreneurs, business owners trying to, you know, be a little bit more efficient in their business. But this is any but salespeople, right? Um, you know, people that have have a lot of autonomy in their schedule, or even if you don't. Um, Ritual Design, which is the system that I've created that kind of uh, houses all of the things that we talk about, uh, is really ultimately something that is um, very unique, and it is actually inside the Ritual Design Planner. So this quarterly planner, this 90-day planner, is something that I've created because this system was a little bit too kind of crazy to really teach without it. It makes really perfect sense to have a system of daily routines and a creation of your own custom daily routines into a 90-day planner that you can actually see and track and read. Now, the reason why I'm going into this is because we're going to talk about today something that is on every single daily page and every weekly page and every monthly page in this planner, which is called a capture section. So capture sections are really cool, and it is something that I did not create. This is a very uh, been around for quite some time, and the earliest person and or system that I can think of that had uh, this capture element to it was David Allen getting things done, and the GTD getting things done system. It really starts with the beginning of capturing every single thing that comes into your brain and getting it out of your brain. Because what David Allen does so well is he he states that your brain is for having ideas, not holding them. them. Yes. Uh, and I thought that was, when I first read that, I thought that was really, really interesting because how many times have we gone throughout the day and we've had to re-remember all these little things that we have to do. Oh, I have to go. I, yeah, I have to get more dog food. I have to go out from later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to pay that bill uh, when I get home. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. You know what? Um, remind me. I got to get some dog food later. Like, it's ridiculous because half of the things that we're trying to remember are just menial, ridiculous tasks that should not be in our head at all. Now, what's really funny about this is my wife and I actually have very different opinions on this, and uh, she does not partake. She does not partake in any of the stuff that I teach, and any, and that's totally fine. You know, trust me, she is. Uh, if I can be half as as efficient and as great as her, then then you know that's awesome. But I need this stuff for me because this is how it works. Um, but what's really interesting is that she really holds a lot in her head. And she has yet to have a need to get it out. For me, if I have too much in my head, I become stressed, I become overwhelmed, I become, uh, I realize that my bandwidth is being used for uh, things that a simple pen and piece of paper can, can be used for, right? This thing can be used for way more advanced creative um uh, uh, you know, avenues. And I think it, I think it should be. So what is, let's get into really what a capture system really is. Well, it's very simple. Um, it's literally a place where you capture everything that's in your head. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be some type of project that you want to see happen five years from the road from, from now. It could be something that you have to drop off at the post office tomorrow. It doesn't matter what it is, but the idea of capturing everything in your head, 
um, is one of the most, I think one of the most beneficial things that has happened to me in my life um, ever because it's, it's, like I said, it frees up more mental space. Now, I'll use the Ritual Design Planner as an example here of how we do it. So on the daily page, you have a, sp a specific spot to actually capture whatever you need to do, um, whatever you think of, whatever notes you have to take that day, whatever it is, phone numbers you have to write down. Anything that has to be captured, you write it down for Monday if Monday is the day you're, you know, you're, you're working on. Now, what happens if you think, oh, you know what? I have to, I have to call my cousin um, on Thursday because to double check that we're going to go, oh, whatever it is, right? What's going to happen is you're not going to use the capture section on Monday. You're going to use the capture section on Thursday. So you'd simply flip over to Thursday and jot it down. Because now what happens is that it's out of your head. And when Thursday rolls around or Wednesday night, whenever you do your planning, you see that you have to call your cousin that day. And then all of a sudden, okay, so cool. When's the best time to do that? Uh, you know what? Let me call her right after lunch. All right, 1.30. Great. It's perfect. It's it's like a foolproof system, right? Okay, but what happens if you think of something that has to be, you know, a big project that you have to be, you know, that you want to maybe start two months down the road? Okay, super simple. Find the month page, right, which is basically the month calendar or the month grid. And then literally in the right-hand column in the capture section, you just jot it down, get it out of your head because then at the end of say February and all of a sudden March rolls around and you go to plan March and you look at that, that page, you see, okay, oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to start that project. It's like the most simple thing yet like most effective. Um, it has helped me tremendously. Now, what's interesting is a couple of things. You actually have to use this system to make it work. So let's talk about a little bit of the <laughs> the pitfalls that you might see when trying to use this system. Number one, if you write something down on, say, a daily page, right, but you're really inconsistent with using something like this, like say it's like a planner like this, well, that doesn't really matter because what's even worse is that you're probably going to forget about it. You know, you're going to read it and then like you'll skip to like three weeks later when you start using the planner again. And then you totally like forgot about it. It's not even it. So the consistency of how you're using your system is really important. And that goes to the same for if you write something down that is a little bit more comprehensive, say like a project you wanted to start. Um, same as I think if you, if you've used a planner like this for two months and then by month number three, you fell off, well then, you know, it's completely worthless because you're not even going to close it up and you're not even going to really see it again. Um, you may forget something like that. So you have to find a system that you use consistently. Number two, this is the biggest thing that has affected me is that if you are using an analog system like this, well, what happens when you think of something and you're driving, right? And you're on the freeway, but it's such an amazing idea. Oh my God, it's so cool. And like, I got to remember this. Okay, well, here's where a hybrid system might work simply for your capture. What I like to do is I have a, I have a digital hybrid system and I've I've tried two in the past and I experiment with them both because I've yet to find the one that I like better. I'm kind of waiting for one of the uh, I'll explain. <laughs> one of the best things a piece of technology that has entered my life is um, voice activated devices. So my device a Alexa, right, uh, is I have a lot of them. They're all throughout the house. Um, you know, I they they do all the all the stuff around my house, they open up doors, they do, you know, turn on lights, all that crazy stuff. I'm a smart home geek. What I found really cool is that if I'm driving, I even have it in my car. Um, if I'm driving, I can literally just speak it and say, hey, Lady A, you know, so she's right up behind me. So, hey, Lady A, you know, um, uh, add Project X to my capture list. And I've pre-made a list titled Capture and she'll just add it. And usually like 85% of the time it works. So I do like that. The one thing I don't like about it is the interface is like really bad. Um, it's not designed for note taking. So to get to that note later on, it takes a little bit of, it takes like a little, a few different steps to get into the app and like see the list and all this stuff. Um, 
but it, it does work well because there was zero friction. I, I'm washing the dishes, have a great idea, or I remember something, get it out of my head. Hey, Lady A, add this to my capture list. She does it. Works really, really well. Like I said, getting back to it is, a, is a, another issue. The other way is simply an app I, call, I use called Notion. Notion has taken the productivity world by storm uh, over the last few years. It is an incredibly robust app. And I use that to do a lot of planning with uh, with Upgrade. I do that to use a lot of planning with my life in general. Um, and I use that as a capture list. So I have a digital capture list. Now, um, you know, most of the time if I'm doing something that I, I can't literally get my hands to do, but, I, you know, obviously this is, say, at home and I'm out or whatever, I can usually hang on to that thought long enough until my hands are free or I can put it in my phone, <laughs> um, usually. Sometimes I'm not that good. But the problem now is that you have all these different things, right? You have a digital capture and then you have your analog capture, right? So what do we actually do? You can't have two. You have to have one. Well, what the for me, the digital capture is simply a temporary capture. And at the end of every single night in my PM routine, right? Another beautiful part of having Ritual Design in your life, in my PM routine, when I plan my next day using the Ritual Design Planner, I will literally go through my digital uh, capture list and I will add anything that I added to that capture list that day to the corresponding capture list in this planner. So I go through and I say, okay, so I wrote that down for next week. All right, let me go to the week capture, write it down, and I delete it, da -da -da -da, delete it. And then by the end of that little quick session, there is once again to start the day nothing on that capture list. It's, it's, you can literally, if you're an iPhone user, you can use the Notes app. Uh, if you're an Android user, you can use, I'm sure, the built-in Notes app. <laughs> um, you don't have to be fancy. Um, so the reason I'm telling you this is because the system you create your, your, for yourself has to have a couple of things. It has to have consistency. It has to have no friction. Um, it has to... And you have to be reminded to to use it to be consistent, right? Just because you want to be consistent um, doesn't really, you know, uh, help. You have to put it into a system. Um, you have to put it into a a, a, um, a frame of where, where you're going to either revisit, you know, or you know, whatever it is, right? For me, my PM routine tells me to do my capsule. So it's a it's an extremely simple m part of a much bigger. Uh, network of how you organize your tasks, your schedule, your day-to-day, -day, your personal development routines, and all these other things because anything that you want to add, you first have to capture it. And if you haven't done that already, I think that will help tremendously. Uh, you know, uh, literally, if you have to use a piece of paper or you have your phone, whatever you use, um, try it. <laughs> definitely, definitely try it. And on that note, that's it for me today when it comes to the capture uh, concept. If you like this video and you and you like listening to this episode, please uh, leave a review. It would help me so, so much. Um, share it with somebody who thinks they, you may think that they need uh to capture some more things and you know to have some more mental ram and uh please subscribe if you haven't done so already guys thank you so much for listening and i will catch you next week on the upgrade my rituals podcast